storybook to fill virtues hung out. Running wild and living free, riding high on that carousel. Biker TV is brought to you by Parts Canada and Drag Specialties. We support the sport. Join Biker TV at Summer Ride, Summerside PEI. Advanced Welding Techniques, training for success. Welcome to Biker TV, by bikers, for bikers. This week on Biker TV, Friday the 13th, 2014, in Port Dover, Ontario. More artistry and iron motorcycles with Edjo. We're back at the Cumberland Motorcycle Roundup. But first, Custom Creations, Cycle and Ink, Cambridge, Nova Scotia. I'm Candace. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you also. I kind of keep the ship running up front, I guess. I keep the boys in line and manage all their appointments. And Goes to show you're one heck of a woman. Yeah, yeah. I am. I am. Tattoo shop and a bike shop. Trying yep. to keep them all in control. Trying to keep them all in control. It's not easy. It's a great combination. Who, who rides that doesn't have a tattoo, right? It works well. It works well. So we get a lot of customers that come in. They'll do the service on their bike, have a tattoo while they wait. Got a lot of positive feedback. We're super excited for what we're doing here and the feedback we're getting from our customers. Yeah. Awesome. Well, my partner and I uh, decided to join Ventures. He's in the tattoo industry and I've always been around the motorcycle side. And we thought it would be a unique combination to put the two together. And of course I have tattoos and he had a Harley, so the whole package works well. Harley. Wow, Harley, what a beautiful name. <laughs> Are you proud of that name? Yeah. Are you going to ride a Harley when you get older? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you got all your leathers on. Yep. Spectacular. Are you riding here with someone today? <sighs> My dad. Your dad? <laughs> That's so awesome. So do you go riding a lot? Mm, yeah, a lot in the summertime. Not so much in the winter, but sometimes. It's a little cold, eh? Yeah. I gotta say, you're one of the cutest biker chicks I've ever met. <laughs> and I really like your jacket. Thank you. Best. So what was it about the bike that you wanted it? Well, I guess it because it was black and it was beautiful, and I figured it should be mine. It is, it is a sexy bike, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, very much you look, so. You look really good, all right? Well, thank you very much. Been with the road crew uh, three, four, three and a half years. Yeah, a very, very, very good group to be with. Yeah, you guys are all out here. Supporting. Oh yes, oh yes, that's what we're all about. That's yeah, great. yeah. Well, I know a lot of you. I think you're all wonderful. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, and okay. uh, I think Lo and his family thinks the same thing because uh, I got a feeling they they want to ride with us as well. I believe so. It'd yeah, be great. So. I want to be there. You believe, thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, congratulations on your bike. Well, thank you very much. So, the fire, the Halifax fire. Yeah, that's that's my job. That's oh, what I do. Darn. Yeah, I'm a fireman. Right. So, how long have you been coming here to get ink? Uh, when did we meet, Nick? Uh, six months ago? Yeah, probably yeah, six months ago. Uh, met six months ago. I think I've become part of the family. So Yeah, yeah hanging around been, that long. Yeah, it's been great. You probably would. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been great. We pretty well do everything here. I, I guess my heart is baggers. I like I like customizing baggers, but we do full blown everything. It can be oil change, tires, uh, safety inspection. Uh, here we're doing a trike conversion on a Sportster, so there's always neat. something different going on. A local lady here who has I think battled a little bit with two wheels, so she's decided that uh, in order to stay in the bike world, three wheels would suit her better. Okay, smart. Yeah. So what do you plan on getting here today? A Sang. 
Yeah, Sailor B. That's life. Yeah, Sailor B. That is. That's life. Is there any reason, particular reason for wow, that? Well, it's one of my favorite songs from the Ooh, 70s. From Long Story. Oh, okay. What does it take to put a tattoo? Well, clean, sterile. It's usually a stencil process involved. Get it on paper, and placement on the body is the most important thing. You could do a phenomenal tattoo. If the placement is off, it's ruined. This is uh, my personal ride. It's a 2012 Street Glide that customized last winter for myself. Okay. And um, pretty well did everything on it. We cut the neck and did a, a stretch neck and a rake combination to accommodate the 26 inch front wheel. Oh yeah, that's a big 26. And then we did a stretch tank. Is bigger really better? Oh yes. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> we also did the stretch bags on the back and the stretch fender and uh, it's air ride, so it pumps up and down, Can give you, you that up? ground clearance. Oh, I uh, it's, it all, it's, it's all blocked up, yeah. We also uh, tore the engine down, put a 107 kit in it. It's making about 115 horsepower now. After the break, Friday the 13th, 2014, in Port Dover, Ontario. We take people that want to get into the industry and we spend 15 weeks with them and we prepare them to work in, a, in an authorized Harley-Davidson dealership as a technician. Harley-Davidson training. The sky's the limit. Spady Transport. Now hiring owner operators. Join today and work for the very best. Now hiring owner operators. Spady Transport. Dragon Jeans, what Biker TV rides in. Protect your assets. Dragon Jeans. Advanced Welding Techniques. Training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. Tilbury Auto Sales RV Yamaha. One-stop shop. Over 300 units in stock. RV, power sports, auto, Yamaha. Financing for everyone. TilburyAutoSales.com. Conquer motorcycles. Conquer your ride. Custom Rides and Rods, a must stop in Kelowna, BC. Conquer Motorcycles. Closed captioning by Great Job Hog Tunes, supporting radio for radiation. Congratulations, Billy. Welcome to Biker TV. Bye, bikers. Four bikers. This week on Biker TV, we're in beautiful Port Dover for Friday the 13th. There's bikes everywhere and people. Let's go check it out. Hey, how's it going? Great. It's a great time. Last time I seen you was at the bikers reunion. Yeah, it was a good time out there. Yeah. Good time here. Dover, baby! <laughs> It's a place to come with people that uh, are like-minded, you know, type thing. Yeah. And uh, it's a great time. 
everybody's friendly. You know, it's a great atmosphere, great weather. Oh, the weather's you know, beautiful. Great bikes. Yeah, what did you ride? Did you ride here? Yeah, I uh, drive a 2009 night train okay. and uh, rode all the way here from Sudbury and uh, it was a great ride. How long have you been coming to Port Dover, Friday the 13th? Oh, my second year. Okay, so what are you riding now? Uh, 2003 GSXR. Tell me 1, about 000. it. Can you give me a walk around of it? Uh, custom paint, swing arm, lots of chrome, lots of chrome, 300 series tire, lowered, stretch, um, NOS, universe. Uh, NOS is good. Yeah, everyone likes a bottle. <laughs> What are you riding, Joe? I ride a Roll King. Do you? Yeah. How long have you had that for? A few years. Yeah. So what brings you to Dover? Yeah, the atmosphere. Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th, <laughs> the atmosphere. Oh, I love bikes. Both of my dads had Harleys, and I just love the rumble. It's just, it's awesome. It drives me crazy. <laughs> How's it going? Yes, perfect, great, great. So how do you like Friday the 13th this year? It's good, it's good. Got a little wet on the way out this morning, but it's all part of riding. Tell me about your bike. It's a uh, 105th anniversary, 2008, Road Glide. Hey, too bad, I'm gonna be on TV. Sorry about your luck. I saw the fellow with the uh, G-string. Okay, and I thought, okay, I'm not doing that. Thank God that's taken. <laughs> <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> so I just want to do something fun. Cool. Do you want to give me a walk around to your bike and Certainly. tell me about it? Step into my Quite office. Different. This is the Black Pearl. Okay. The uh, Pirates of the Caribbean theme is kind of what it's about. The fantastic thing about the way it's done uh, with the graphics is, you know, if I decide to sell the bike next year, I just pull the graphics off. I'm not uh, oh, committed okay. into a twelve thousand dollar, thirteen thousand dollar paint job. Yeah. So it worked out fantastic. That's a good call. Yeah. We came down for the biker weekend, and it's crazy here. As long as it's in the summertime, we come down. But if it's in the wintertime, forget it. Forget it. We like the heat. Oh, there's not much to tell. I didn't know it was so fast, so I got a new carburetor in it this week. Now, now it does wheelies. My husband's all so scared and everything, right? Yeah. So how long have you been riding for? 45 years. Really? You must have seen some crazy stuff on the road. Oh, yeah. Tell me a story. A story. No, Once upon a one. time. <laughs> so how's Port Dover going for you? Excellent. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful yeah. turnout. So what are you riding? This is a uh, Valkyrie. A uh, Honda Valkyrie 2001. Bought brand new in 2001. And modified. How so? I a supercharger and a modified the exhaust. OK. And the engine was actually done. 8,000 dollars worth of work in the engine. So what did the Modify do for you? Uh, about 50 horsepower. 50 horsepower is pretty good. Yeah, it's a 144 dyno down. How long have you been coming to Dover for? Five years or so. Five years. So what are you riding? 2010 Roll Glide Custom. Tell me about it. Can you give me a walk around? It's a uh, 103 with cams. Okay. Um, 95 horse, 110 torque. Progressive suspension all around, 21 front inch, wheel, ape hangers, tens. Okay. She rides good. You had it all modified, you said? Yeah, pretty much. I told you, Arlen Ness uh, front end, okay. mono tubes, air filter. A lot of money went into this bike. A it's a nice ride, man. It's a sweet ride. Well, it's a great way to get together with people that share the same interest. Right? And you see any kind of bike going, whether they're little scooters on up to, you know, choppers and very customized bikes and everything, and it's great. It's a great way to see people. It's a great way to meet people that you haven't seen for a long time. Yeah. Um, it's just cool. It's it's cool to people watch. You know, there's always something interesting going on, and uh, there's always interesting people. After the break, more artistry and iron motorcycles with Ed Joe. Biker TV is brought to you by Hip Cycle, where Biker TV goes. 
Creative Chaos Tattoo, not for the weak of heart. Biketoberfest 2015, live to ride. Flat Track Canada, almost time for action-packed family racing. Congrats on the new location, Custom Creations, Cycle and Ink, Cambridge, Nova Scotia. Carriers Tank, Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted. Laidlaw Carriers Tank, our people and our equipment set us apart. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Every type of cool car, all the car clubs. Artistry and iron motorcycles. Who has Canada's coolest big rig? The Trucker Television Show and Shine. Swap meet, farm equipment, boats. World-class plowing match. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. 12-gauge customs. Award-winning trucks. Big rig chrome and accessories. Shop online or call. 12-gauge customs. Atlantic Canada's largest motorcycle rally, the Wharf Rat Rally, Digby, Nova Scotia. Here with Biker TV and just brought out a few of the the old artistry and iron collection of some of the more vintage bikes that we have. And uh, there they are, and this is the old show. This is the original 1980 trailer that we used to go across Canada and please a lot of people, but we're sort of bringing every note in the open and starting to expose things again. And Biker TV was one of the first to be invited to film some of the bikes that we have. So enjoy yourself. Here we got a 1986 FXRD, another bike that they only made 591 of. This one's only got 40 odd thousand miles on it. They came out in 83 with this, these bikes and they had a shovel head motor and in 84 they switched to an Evolution. These bikes were so far ahead of their time, they were known as the best bike Harley ever built. Now, I thought that they sold for 10,000, but 10,000 was the American price on it. Here, these bikes were selling for around $14,000. The FXR came without bags or a tour pack or lowers. They were sold for about $1,000 less, so these bikes were actually a deal for $1,000 more to get them equipped with the bags, the bag rails, the tour pack, and the fairing, and the lowers. Difference in an 86 and the earlier ones, these had more gauges on the bottom, an extra gauge package, and the gauges in the windshield. You can ride this bike at 120 mile an hour in a rainstorm and not get wet, mainly because of the lowers and the, the windshield. These bikes were aerodynamically slanted so when the wind did come around and catch anything it automatically went dispersed out the side of the bike not straight down who actually helped make these bikes famous was uh malcolm forbes he bought one of these uh, or a couple of them off harley davidson he took one to south america and back and did a lot of write-ups and bike magazines in the states and all that and then their popularity zoomed After the break, 
We're back at the Cumberland Motorcycle Roundup, Vancouver Island's biggest biker bash. Dragon Jeans, the authentic motorcycle jeans. Biker TV rides safe in Dragon Jeans. Dragon Jeans, what's covering your butt? The Bikers Reunion. Bikers battling cancer. New Liskert, Ontario. Canada's biggest ride, the Freedom Ride. 15 miles of motorcycles. We want you. The Bikers Reunion. Ontario Truck Driving School. Your path to success. Training for your future. Thousands of jobs. Ontario Truck Driving School. Sometimes people can't get off at the top there, they got to help them. I think he's that poor bugger that's got to wind, do the winding, he's a little slow today. <laughs> they didn't feed the squirrels, eh? <laughs> Squirrel in the cage. I think he did have a bike crash, actually. Uh, from what I was told, he's a pretty nice guy, or they wouldn't be doing all this in, in his memory. You know. This is the Tom Carpenter Memorial Poker Run, and for a number of years, Tom was one of the head judges for the show and shine. And two summers ago, we lost Tom in a motorcycle accident, and so because of his commitment to the committee, he, um, they decided to name the, the poker run after him. So a lot of friends that were with us that day when Tom passed away um, make the annual trip here to participate in the poker run.
We're right now at the top of Mount Washington and uh, it's a nice breeze up here. Uh, usually uh, there's snow here when I'm here. This is my first time up with no snow, so it was kind of interesting. And uh, my first poker run, which is, uh, and my wife's first poker run, so uh, it's been a good day. Who was Tom? Wow, I might need help with that. <laughs> yeah. Character. He, yeah, he was, he was uh, total character. He was committed to the community. He did charity work. Uh, he was a loving partner, family man, and uh, loved and to partner. ride, loved to ride his Harley. Cool as a steel, well is, hard as the devil's soul. hometown boy. Now, uh, what do you think of the roundup? It was good. This is the first year that I made it out to the whole thing. I just got the last little bit last year, so um, yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. The games were hilarious. The dance was good afterwards, and the ride's fun today, too, so what more could you ask for? I think for the most part everyone likes it, yeah, I'm sure there's the, the few older people or whatever that don't enjoy all the noise, but I mean, it's it's usually kept kept under control, so I think everyone likes it for the most part, yeah, it's good for good for the town, gets us, gets us on the map anyways. Last year, we decided, uh, Team Tom and I, that this would be the perfect spot to um, leave his ashes uh, because the roundup meant so much to him. He was a mountain man, he absolutely loved it up here. So it just made sense to do that. So, and we've decided to do a rock for each Cumberland roundup and place it up here. Yeah, and the one thing I can say is he, Tom died doing what he loved with all the people that he loved. We all take pride in our rides. Send us a picture of your sweet bike and it might be on national TV. Two wheels, good enough for Biker TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at bikertv.ca. We all take pride in our rides. Send us a picture of your sweet bike and it might be on national TV. Next week on Biker TV, more artistry and iron motorcycles with Edjo. More of the custom creations, Cycle and Ink, Cambridge, Nova Scotia. Bike Night at Canada's Power Sports Leader, Royal Distributing. CMDRA Drag Racing Action in Medicine Hat, Alberta. Biker TV is brought to you by Join Biker TV at Duke's 10th Anniversary Party and VON Ride. Biker TV Advertising Works. We speak to millions. Parts Canada and Drag Specialties. We support the sport.